Hey everybody, welcome to today's Autoversity. It's Friday afternoon, just finished a fantastic three-day class in Toronto with a bunch of really great people. And uh, this class, uh, based on the students' questions, ended up going off in a lot of crazy directions, but I'm okay with that, so I just have fun with that. And it was entertaining and informative. And um, of course, if you like these tips, please hit subscribe, share, like, or comment. So um, this tip really is about my business. And like all my other tips, I walk and talk from the heart and I've lived it and I've done it. And maybe you can see yourself in these tips or in this one or in this thought a little bit and reflect on this and really uh, get the message here what I'm trying to make. So about six months ago, I said to my assistant that I should be fired. And she goes, what are you talking about? And I said, well, look, we just did an assessment of sales and we've never been doing better. So this is not a complaint video or uh, woe is me. Things are great. It's never been better on pretty much every front. And we're looking at the, the quality and the quantity of services that we offer, our client testimonials or results, uh, the depth and breadth of different products that we now have, and how we can help so many people. I've got three books on Amazon, 3,000 online training videos, a call center. We have our academy in Toronto. We do in dealership training. We do massive regional seminars. Um, I do free coaching by phone and by text and you know all kinds of different things. And I said, listen, I said, if I came in as an outside consultant, and I assessed um, our sales compared to potential based on the market that we're in. I would fire myself. And why I'm saying that is not because I'm frustrated in a bad way. I'm frustrated in a great way. I see nothing but upside, nothing but potential. I think I'm probably doing, I don't know, 10% of what I think we should be doing. And we're doing great. So, uh, you know, I kind of made an analogy here. And I hope you're not offended by this analogy. But I said to her, I said, listen, here's how I feel about my business right now. And it's been like this for probably, I don't know, three or four months. We have so many great things going on, but I kind of feel like somebody who's got a really awful physical feature that they can't stand looking at. And they never look in the mirror in that direction because it highlights it or accentuates it. And you know, if they see pictures of it showing, they burn the picture, they cut the picture up. I feel this way right now about my company. We've got so much potential, so much upside that we're not utilizing it. It kind of turns my stomach a little bit. And I'm saying this, I, I've never been really more fulfilled. Uh, you know, the achievement level's great. I'm not complaining about it, but there's so much upside potential. So here's my question for you. Instead of comparing yourself to how you've been doing, here's a thought. Compare yourself to how you think you should be doing based on the market you're in. Now, I am not comparing myself to other companies that occupy my space. I don't do that. There are different messages, different messengers, often from different countries or continents. You know what? I, I'm not doing that at all because that's not fair to me or to them. I'm comparing myself to myself and to my market and how much I think I should be doing to be fair to myself and the people that work for me and work with me. So everybody on this tip, I can ask you a question. If you went in from the outside world into what you're currently doing, do you think somebody would look at you and go, you know what, you could be a little more productive with your time, you could have better sales, you could have um, perhaps a, a different marketing approach, you can make more calls, you could clean up your emails and your texts, you could write better letters, you could do better product presentations, you could understand your client better, you could close better, you could follow up better. Would somebody tell you this? Well, if the answer to that, uh, any of that is yes, you know what, you know yourself, or you're supposed to know yourself better than anyone else, and I'm really at that point right now with what I'm doing. So. Um, you know, I'm not going to fire myself, I guess. Um, I absolutely are, am revamping all of the, uh, the people that we work with and I'm bringing on somebody to take on that role for me because I really feel I need an outside third party person that I trust, that I have a good relationship with, that has expertise in areas I don't have expertise in, that can help me with that. But just remember, frustration means you're very, very close to a breakthrough. If you weren't frustrated, it would mean that you don't see other opportunities or potential for yourself. So I've learned in the last 20, 30 years of my life to welcome frustration and bring it on in realistic, um, you know, realistic times. And I'm at that point right now. So let's see if there's any breakthroughs. You know, buckle up and hang on. I'm looking for great things for myself, my business, and for you for the next uh, few months or few years. I'm Dwayne Marino. Wish you great selling. Take care. Happy Friday, and have a good weekend.